from an organizational level, it's talking about it is so important. A lot of staff feel very guilty if they feel like the effects of their job are affecting them. So they won't talk about it. They almost feel like the fact that it's affecting me means that I can't do my job or I'm somehow weak or unable to do it. And there's still some kind of sort of old fashioned idea within healthcare that you can sort of not get involved. And But if you find that that's happening to you, then you feel very guilty because you feel like you're, you're not coping with the job that you love so much. So in terms of organisations, keep it on the agenda, keep talking about it, make sure you support staff as much as you possibly can with strategies that they can access. It's no good just putting on things at lunchtime that they can't access because they work 12 hour shifts. But you need, you need to really keep that conversation going so they don't feel guilty. And then as an individual, it's about building up your emotional reservoir. So with things outside of work as well as inside of work, making sure that you stay connected with your family, that you exercise, that you eat well, that you understand that when you are experiencing some of these symptoms of compassion fatigue, that you do something about it. You are both proactive and reactive. And if you do that, then hopefully you should be able to have enough emotional energy so that you can give some to the patients and their families when they need you but also keep enough for yourself which will give you the energy to carry on working as long as you want to.